we're going to work a simple interest application. So there's some terminology that we need to be familiar with. Simple interest is principal times interest rate times time. We can shorten that to say I equals PRT. P principal is the amount borrowed. Interest rate is the annual rate and should be written as a decimal. So remember that. And then time is in years. That's very important. So if we look at this example, calculate the simple interest and the final balance. So those are our goals. On $200, that's our principal. Borrowed at 8%, that's our rate as a decimal, 0 0.08, over four months. Now time has to be in years. So four months is one third of a year. So to compute that, we take four months out of 12 months and reduce it. So it's very important that your time is in years, not months. So let's see how we would compute our simple interest. So we take I equals P times R times T and our principal was $200 times I'm going to put these in parentheses to separate them a little bit. 0 0.08, that's our interest rate, times one third. So let's see how we would write that a little bit better so we can compute using our calculator. I'm going to write as 200 times 0 0.08 divided by 3. Because that's what multiplying by one third means. I can multiply the tops and then divide by 3. If I perform that computation on my calculator, I get 5.33. So that's my simple interest. I've rounded it to the nearest cent, $5.33. And that makes sense. It's $200 borrowed at 8% for four months. This number is not going to be very high. So my balance then is going to be the $200 plus the $5.33. So I'm going to have a final balance, there's a point there, of $205.33. So let's round this out with a complete sentence. The interest is $5.33 on a final balance of two hundred five dollars and thirty three cents.